So, uh, I'm back. And today we have a wild video for you all today. This like randomly popped up on my YouTube feed. So I was like, oh, what kind of video should I do today? And I figured I saw it and I was like, oh, you know, knowing the last video, everyone was like, oh, yeah, we should get like more informative videos, more informative videos. So I was like, all right, well, let me look at something. And this is what popped up. And I know we have been talking about botflies in the last few videos. And I figured, all right, well, let's let's just watch How to Survive a Botfly Infestation by How to Survive. So, uh, yeah, let's jump right into it and let's see what they have for us. Hope you guys enjoy it just as much as I will. <laughs> What's that on your arm? Is it a pimple? Why is it itchy? Wait, did it just move? Your trip oh, to that's Central gross. America three weeks ago might have something to do with that's it. That's so gross. What is going on? That like just gives me the ah, just gives me goosebumps just to see it move. And how can you get it out? Ugh. Here's how to survive a botfly infestation. Botflies are a parasitic oh, fly man. located mainly in Central and South America. They're best known for their metallic, robotic appearance. Female botflies can't complete their life cycle unless their larvae are buried in some animal skin. As they grow, the larvae consume their host's flesh. Oh, that's... <sighs> All right. Now, I want you for a second to imagine this. Now, close your eyes, and I want you to imagine a little small maggot-looking thing is on your arm, and you feel it moving. You feel like a pulsing. And you're like, oh, it's a pimple. But then you see it move. Skin. As they grow, the larvae consume their. I am so sorry. <laughs> flesh. But the only species of botfly that infests humans is Dermatobia hominis. Female botflies can also it's lay a on mosquitoes or ticks. When the infested arthropods bite a human or another mammal, they deposit larvae from those eggs. In humans, a botfly infestation looks like an irritated red bump with a hole Ooh, in the side. Look at it. For the larvae. And sometimes you can feel so that, within the that's bomb. why it sticks out. All right, so that that explains why whenever you see like bot flies and stuff, like if you were just to look at them, it looks like a pimple. It looks like a normal whitehead, but it's a bot fly trying to breathe. No wonder. That's why they say to smother it first. Huh? Makes sense. How could a bot fly infestation kill you? How can you remove the larvae? And why could bacon grease help? Bacon grease? This botfly infestation sounds scary, and if it's not treated, the infestation could get really yeah. bad. But don't cancel your trip to the beach just yet. Instead, follow these steps to stay safe. Step one. Protect your skin. I, I'm, I'm just like will lay their eggs on insects like mosquitoes. It's hard to avoid bot flies if you're in an area where they live. So use bug spray to keep flies and mosquitoes away. Yeah, why is wait and wait why is somebody high, just use high top boots and long sleeves to prevent tick bites. If you're indoors, close your windows and doors after dark and use window screens. Also, don't let foods or liquids accumulate and still use bug spray. Never do that. And while you're visiting tropical regions, remember to iron all your clothing before dressing. This is especially really? important if your clothes dried outside the house, since the fabric may have eggs stuck in it. Step two. I did not know that. I iron my clothes anyway, but still. 
I did not know to just go ahead and just iron it instead of letting it just sit outside because the heat will probably kill the eggs. Hmm. Recognize an infestation. After a female bot fly or other carrier lays eggs, the larvae will hatch after about a week and rapidly penetrate your skin. Some common signs are wounds forming on your uh, skin. Look at that. Slight swelling and pus coming from the bite. Uh. Like moving around under your skin, pain, or intense itching. Usually, a dermatologist or infectologist observes the wounds and diagnoses the bot fly infestation. In 2000, she had one in her neck. The wounds and diagnoses. Oh, the bot fly infestation in 2018, a Florida woman came back from her honeymoon in Belize. Two months later, she noticed a skin lesion that was itchy, but not painful. Okay, so she I went to her doctor. Who I remember that video. We actually reacted to that video. Antibiotics, but the antibiotics didn't help. So she got a second opinion at a wound management clinic. Her wound had a hole in the center and pus coming out of it. And the bite felt hard to the touch as if there were a bean or an egg inside. Uh, the the lesion, they found an insect with a tapered shape and rows of spines and hooks. Uh, Pathologist identified it as a human botfly larva. The specialist said that if the look larva at, had not been... Look at that. It, it kind of looks like a little sperm with a little tendril sticking out of it surgically removed it could have matured into an adult fly creating a bigger hole in her skin as it grew within a week of its removal her skin had completely healed step three remove the larva the most common method of removing a bot fly larva yeah, this is suffocated is to a topical anesthetic yep slightly enlarge the opening and use forceps or tweezers to remove the larva that's so gross <laughs> Other methods include using a venom extractor syringe to suck out the larvae, and taking the antiparasitic drug avermectin causes the larvae to suddenly leave the skin. Also, flooding the opening with iodine can make the fly poke out of the hole so it can be removed with forceps. Another way to kill the larva is by suffocating it. Seal its breathing hole with something greasy yeah. like petroleum jelly. Yeah, that's like the but typical thing that you see. Bacon grease can work just as well. Bacon grease to and remove the carcass with forceps. That's pretty cool. I didn't know. Don't. I didn't know bacon grease you could just use to uh, suffocate it. But it makes makes sense because essentially bacon grease gets super thick. Squeeze it out. Forcefully squeezing the larvae out like you're popping a pimple yeah. can work, but it can also be dangerous and painful. The larva spines can get stuck in your skin and rupturing the larva's body can cause anaphylactic shock. That makes it harder to remove all parts of the bug, increasing your chance of an infection. Even though a botfly infestation is not too Look dangerous to own, neglecting an infection can kill you. So if you visit Central or South America, be very cautious around damp and forested areas, and you should be able to- Oh, let me know down in the comments below if you remember this video. We reacted to this video. She had like six bot flies in her arm. Infested by bot flies. But bot flies aren't the Look only creatures you should watch out for. Something else is waiting to poke your skin and drink your blood. How dangerous can a tick bite be? Find out here on how to survive. All right. Well, that was a. That was pretty gross. <laughs> I, uh, ah, like my entire body right now. I don't know if you guys can see, but I have like a bunch of like goosebumps. Ugh, it's just the thought of bot fly, like being near the skin just makes my skin crawl. But all right. Well, uh, if you enjoy this type of, uh, video, the type of informative video, let me know down in the comments below. The next video, kid you not, will be a pimple popping compilation or of some sort. But I figured let's try out the waters and uh, let's see if this sort of informative video is good. Hope you all have a great day. Thank you all for being here. Hope you all have a great rest of your, what is today, Tuesday or whatever day it is. 
Thank you all for being here. And uh, yeah, peace.